Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to see a paper on a low power biomedical signal processor ASIC based on hardware software co-design. And myself I am Ramya Rajendran. Now moving on to the abstract of the topic the paper. A uh, low power biomedical digital signal processor ASIC based on hardware and software co-design methodology is being presented in this paper. A hardware implementation includes uh, a low power 32 bit RISC CPU uh, which is on ARM 7 TDMI, a low power AHP compatible bus and a scalable digital core processor that is optimized for low power fast Fourier transforms. There is FFT calculations. Uh, the core processor would be scaled for 8, 16 and 32 point FFTs and uh, which is taking almost 50, 100 and 150 clock cycles respectively. The complete design is uh, intensively simulated using ARM DSM model and was emulated by ARM versatile platform before conducted to silicon. The multi-million gate ASIC was fabricated using SMIC 0.18 micrometer mixed signal CMOS 1P6M technology. The power consumption for FFT calculations was less than 1.5% comparing with the conventional embedded software based solution. Introduction uh, this paper, what it basically deals with is that the recent surge in development of wireless, low power wearable and implantable devices uh, or biomedical devices for physiological measurements and telemedicine applications. And uh, due to that, uh, like uh, various signal processing algorithms were developed to process the measured signals such as ECG, EEG, EMG, E. GG, respiration and PPG and etc. Spectrum analysis is commonly used and hence the FFT units are being employed. But uh, for a wearable or implantable device it should be basically small and discrete in operation and also it should be a low power consumption device. Because of the power and size constraints it is difficult to perform the spectrum analysis within the device that is the implantable device and hence the external systems are now being used for the post signal analysis that is the biomedical signal which is being captured from the subject will be transferred to an external system where the post signal analysis is being carried out an application specific integrated circuit that is an ASIC can be fully customized such that uh, we can provide a maximal design flexibility at the low power consumption mode in an ASIC, all functional building blocks can be integrated into a single piece of silicon which means potential size reduction for the sensor nodes. This also simplifies the subsequent packaging and assembly processes. An ASIC is cost effective when the volume of production is more. Now what this pa paper deals with is a mixed signal ASIC based on hardware and software co-design for scalable FFT calculations and the design advantages of the co-design approach for the biomedical signal spectrum analysis is also being illustrated in this paper. Now what is co-design? Co-design is a methodology which is for solving design problems in processor based embedded systems and which allows the concurrent design of both the hardware as well as the software. System architecture this is the general system architecture of the system that is being designed in this paper which contains a software part or uh, which uses an embedded C coding, a hardware based on an ASIC and a bus interface for connecting both the software and the hardware part. ASIC was designed based on the co-design methodology which was partitioned into hardware portion and embedded software portion. The system uh, primary features are given that is it is a 32 bit RISC ARM 7 TDMI processor is being used here. A low power AHB compactable bus is used. A scalable FFT module that could be scaled for 8, 16 and 32 point FFTs. 4 k kilobyte uh, word SRAM for data and program storage is being employed and digital interfaces to various off chip ADC and RF front end modules. Uh, since we have mentioned it's a biomedical uh, applica application that we are considering here, there may be many uses of uh, uh, sensors and other such modules. Uh, and an on chip VCO oscillator to generate the clock rates up to 30 megahertz, eliminating the needs for an off chip oscillators. Very low coding was used for RTL level descriptors, descriptions 
RTL codes were simulated and synthesized using the Synopsys tool and then emulated in ARM versatile platform. The backend tools used are Cadence tool. The software part adopted is C and assembler languages based on ARM real view development suite. That is RVDS suite is used here. Uh, moving on to the hardware implementation, there are basically uh, three hardware parts that is being designed in this paper uh, and uh, they are ARM7 TDMI implementation, a low power AHP compatible bus design and a scalable FFT uh, circuit description. And uh, ARM7 TDMI, uh, it is a 32 bit embedded risk processor which delivers a hard macro cell optimized to provide the best combination of performance, power and the area characteristics. The ARM7 TDMI core enables system designers to build embedded devices requiring small size as well as low power and high performance. Uh, coming to the HP compatible bus system which is uh, uh, on the low power uh, uh, concept an HP compatible system bus was being designed for inter-system connection, AHB light architecture, typically the power dissipated by system level buses contributes the largest portion of the global power of a complex VLI size system. The minimization of the switching activity at the input output interfaces will provide a significant saving on the overall power consumed by the system. The bus invert code or INV is being used here in order to minimize the switching in the data bus for for the address bus a modified gray encoding is in, uh, adopted to preserve to uh, preserve the one transition property for consecutive addresses of byte addressable machines this is the structure of the low power hb compactable bus that is being used uh, it consists of uh, n number of slaves may be there and a master a multiplexer is used for decoder decoding purpose an address and a data bus is there uh, so here uh, uh, the data and uh, this is the uh, uh, address bus and this is the hardware data bus which you can see is used to connect with the n number of slaves that is the other modules which it, the system is being configured with and uh, the master Okay, so uh, the scalable FFT circuit description. Uh, for the calculation of the FFT, uh, we have considered 8 point, 16 point and 32 point FFT was implemented into the digital coprocessor. The FFT was designed in a scalable manner. A 2 point FFT is the basic building block for the scaling unit and the 2 n point FFT, the decimation in time algorithm and decimation in frequency algorithm is detected from the Cooley Turkey algorithm. The decimation in time that is FFT Radix 2 was used and carried out by modified butterfly architecture and the inputs were 8 bit complex numbers which is taken as XP in of n and XQ in of n. The absolute value of the twiddle factor that is W and K was said to be less than or equal to 1 and before uh, XQ in of n is multiplied with uh, the twiddle factor twiddle factor is multiplied by 26 after the multiplying the result was right shifted by 6 bits the result of the multiplication of the complex number is given by the equation xq of in xq in of n is equal to xq in minus r of n plus i into xq uh, in minus i of n where the twiddle factor is given by this particular equation and was transformed by xq n of n which is given by the equation number one the results of the modified butterfly were given by xp out of n and xq out of n which is represented by the equation number two as shown here okay and uh, the equations 1 and 2 indicates the complex number multiplier needs 3 multipliers, 3 subtractors and the 2 adders which you can see evidently from the from these equations. Uh, 
the two complex numbers were fed into the stage 2 the result of stage 2 was extended with sign and then fed into dff2a0 after the demultiplexer in the next step the stage 2 received another two complex numbers the result of stage 2 was again extended with sign and then input to dff2a1 in the inputs of the stage 4 were ready stage 4 was immediately enabled via reusing the basic modules 4.fft was achieved using the two point the signal SEL is being used to set different operation modes that is 00, 0 indicates the idle state 0, 01 indicates the 8 point FFT 10 indicates 16 point FFT and 11 1 is used to indicate the 32 point FFT calculation the signal SEL was used to set different operation modes 00, 0 sorry the structure of the complete scalable FFT is being shown here that is what we have explained uh, it consists of uh, stage 2 where we are giving the inputs and uh, then uh, from stage 2 it goes to stage 4 then stage 8 which is given to stage 16 and finally we can calculate the stage 32 stage and stage 32 and the output is taken from here these are the select lines as you can see here at this 2 bit uh, 2 bit select okay and now uh, coming to the software implementation used here uh, this uh, gives the overall diagram that is a source code is being employed and uh, as well as an application code is used the source code is given to the compiler link which is then debugged and given to the hardware the source codes were hybrid of arm assemble code and c code which were compiled and linked in the rvds suite the codes were debugged in the instruction set simulator that was hardware independent. Uh, the re real view ICE platform downloaded codes into the hardware for emulations. The source code mainly contained of two parts, a boot and an application part. Uh, in this design, all the modules except the uh, ARM 7 TDMI were slaves and the boot code was responsible for booting the complete digital system. Uh, so this is the boot code sequence and this is the application code sequence. Okay, So boot will take on the power and uh, all the initial steps are being done here that is initialization of stack memory and the user environment etc. And the application code starts from here by acquiring the data. Uh, that we have as we have already mentioned it's a biomedical application there may be various sensors which are being interfaced to the system so by acquiring the data we are going to the application code area and uh, set the scalable FFT to, for which we have to find the calculations then the data input to the scalable FFT result from the scalable FFT is taken it is established the bio, uh, bio channel communicate with the bio channel and it goes to the sleep mode by entering the sleep mode we can uh, uh, make sure that the processor is on uh, a low power mode of operation okay uh, that is the basic uh, principles which are being taken for a uh, low power uh, operate operations of any system and uh, that is uh, we can simply uh, redraw this as uh, as the small flow chart which is shown over here that is an, when an, whenever an interrupt comes if uh, something happens then it is processed and after the processing again it goes to a sleep mode that is only after an another interruption uh, it goes to uh, the processor comes to an on state and it checks if no that is if uh, nothing happens or if the related data is not collected it goes again to the sleep state and uh, again the processor will be waiting for an interrupt okay so coming to the results and the discussions which uh, are done in this paper uh, the completed system was intensively simulated and emulated using the arm dsm model and the arm versatile platform the later implements a logic tile xilinx vertex 5 fpga uh, to host all the digital hardware arm is booted on the setup the digital design was synthesized by synopsis dc compiler and a full chip layout was conducted 
in the cadence uh, system on chip encounter and uh, virtuos using uh, smic uh, mixed signal cmos 1p 6m library the figure shows the layout of the asic that is being used here uh, that is the size and the power uh, by uh, that is consumed by the arm and uh, the scalable fft module interface sram the bus oscillator and the whole chip okay so here i'll zoom this in order for you to uh, make it visible okay so these are the specifications the power and uh, the power is measured in milliwatts and uh, we can see here that most of the power is consumed by the scalable fft that is the calculations part and uh, the size is also much larger here um okay, so okay um the turbo represents the computational performance comparison between an embedded pure software approach and a co-design approach that was implemented in this paper that is uh, which is shown over here okay uh, so the embedded approach gives an fft 8 uh, this much clock cycles whereas for the co-design approach it becomes just 50 that is almost um, i don't know maybe 10 times lesser i guess um it is indicated that to complete a 32 point fft it took approximately 200 clock cycles 200 uh, kilo okay clock cycle uh using a 16 bit arm compatible microprocessor the number of cycles in the code design was reduced to, to just 150 okay here you can see that uh coming to the conclusion uh low power biomedical digital signal processor asic based on the hardware and software co design methodology is being presented in this paper and uh, the simulation results uh, clearly indicate that only uh, the dedicated architecture based on the asic consumes 1.5% of the power for fft calculations as compared with a pure embedded software approach so uh, that's it um thank you everyone